Obviously we started off very small, uh, my father and myself, when, when mixes like you use at home and get your hand in the mix and oh and didn't really exist and very interesting times. But very exciting times as, as people wanted more product and they wanted new product and we, we, we sort of stretched the, the variance of Pablo over every shape and size. And I never forget back at the GFC, a lot of companies cut marketing and NPD expenses and personnel and the retailers were, were getting bored with the, there was, there was a lack of offering. And we had some exciting things, we've just been to a Paris food show where, you know, where food and fashion starts. And, we, we bought back some things and, and they, were, they were, wow, this is excellent. And they bought this and that and they thought, this is great. And on the way out, I asked the one question, what I call the million dollar question. Is there anything else that you're looking for? Is there something that's hard to get? And the buyer thought for a second, he said, if you could make a good quality banana bread at the right price, he said, I'd buy it. So I went back and we looked up banana bread recipes we, we made this thing and took it back to him and today it, we manufacture 60 tonnes a week of banana bread for various clients and that's be we've become famous for that product, for asking that one question. And next thing, that, you know, we're writing checks for more equipment and, and then a new facility and it was a bit nerve wracking at the time but we bit the bullet and we did it because we knew we believed in our people, we believed in our products. Um, we don't make anything that doesn't taste wow. Every product we make is rated on that one thing. Is it wow? We'll, do people say wow when they put it in their mouth? And that's the key um, metric that we use for a new product. And that's why we've been successful. The scope of our new product development needs to adjust and it needs to more so include a broader range of um, health offerings that consumers are looking for um, and also in a different pack size than we were looking for. So the benefit of constantly talking to consumers and buyers is just to get a very, very intimate knowledge of what they're looking for.